All right, we're gonna try again to do a PTSD buddy chat with Tracy. I just sent the invite to Tracy, so hopefully she gets it this time. <coughs> Sorry if I cough a bit, I'm still fighting a bit of a tickle here. But um, we're gonna do a PTSD buddy chat with Tracy. If you've never seen a PTSD buddy chat before, it's where I have a chat with one of the members. And you guys can all watch and ask questions or leave comments, and we'll do our best to answer the questions and read it in the comments aloud during the uh, video. Hi. There she is. You made it. I know. I never did one before, so it wasn't like loading. I thought it would go through through Messenger, and it had to be on like regular Facebook app. So no, no, it's right on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't really. I never did a face face buddy chat, so. Yeah, it's What's up? I know. <laughs> I'm still fighting this. <coughs> it's cold. <coughs> oh. Is it from the snow that was there? No. My kid got a cold and brought it home to me, right? There, that is, that's what they're good for. I, I'm over it. I just. Well, I do still vaporize, and every time I vaporize, that's when I do my coffin, right? Hey, yes. Kira. <laughs> John. Hey, Jennifer. Kira, Jennifer. From. Hi guys, so um, basically, I know we were going to talk about, well, were you going to introduce what you do on a Facebook uh, chat? You were introducing that? I did that while you were coming online with us. I know, I caught the end of it, that's why I thought you were done yeah. with it, but yeah, um, so yeah, I guess. Let everyone watch and know that uh, while me and uh, Tracy's talking, if you have a question, you can leave it in the comment, and we'll do our best to answer Hello. We'll do our best there to read out all the comments, too. Hi, hey, everybody. We'll do our best Jen. to read it all the comments and everything, but, uh, you know. Yeah, definitely. So, um, <laughs> we were going to talk about, I guess, how do we handle our PTSD. Yeah. Well, I did part of what I do all the time now is get inside and go for a walk. I'm very lazy. I don't want to, but the dog <laughs> Oh. The dog wine. That's a good one. I would do yeah. the same thing if I had one. But uh, yeah, I to to help my PTSD, I smoke and sometimes I have to sleep. But like that was only last night. <laughs> uh, exercise is always like a good one. But I, I haven't found a gym around here yet. You find the exercise. Relief, like getting in some anxiety or getting in some For stress. Me, yeah, yeah, I love the gym, so it's it's one of my favorite places. And uh, I got a heavy I don't bag. know where one is right here. So yeah, I got a heavy bag hung up downstairs. I like going down and punching that. Oh my god, I would love one of those. I really need one. I'm gonna yep. tell John to put it in our house. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. One it's really a lot. Of... What? What's that, Cody? Sorry, my kid's there. Does he want eggs? <laughs> yeah. He want eggs. You want eggs, yeah. Big joke about the eggs, eh? He wants yeah. eggs. Yeah. No, no, he just wants to use my phone, you know? Yeah, you it's eggs? like a smoke stash online. I'm smoking with y'all. Yeah, I say y'all. Nah. Yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Light up. <laughs> Yeah, Jennifer says her dog gets her out, too. I'm trying to look back at all these comments here. I was messing while my kid was talking to me. Yeah, well. Kira's got all the dogs. <laughs> yes. Kira, Kira, yeah, she's surrounded by the dogs. Kira, eggs and ketchup. Ariel, hi. I love her. I haven't been able to go see her because I'm broke. My car insurance went up to $800, so... I have to see her before yeah. she leaves, which I'm going to, but it's just, uh, yeah, $800. Crazy. Um, just for moving to Queens. But, like, how do I do all my PTSD? I smoke, I talk, sometimes I have to sleep. Like, mm -hmm. it really depends. It depends on what's uh, I... the, the <sighs> issue, like, where it comes from. Yeah. Well, you got a lot going on right now. Like, I can see why you don't sleep or anything just your job alone yeah. i mean i've only known you a few months Tracy, and you told me stories about your job i mean when your job is a trigger i'm, I'm oh, like yeah. a big trigger uh, yeah i have you know. a job i'm um, like <laughs> i need the insurance i hate my job so much uh Carol. 
like it's just it's really bad for me to be there. So John yeah. just got home from training. He got a new job and uh we're just both that... gonna work, see how it goes. You know, I have like a lot of other stuff going on, like weeks you and funerals and stuff. Other? You and John seen a lot of each other? Well, he just got home last week, and uh... well, that's what I mean. You said he's got a new, he started a new job, and I know you're pretty busy with your job, so I'll just you yeah, guys but like people? he was supposed to come with me to the services tomorrow, and like instead he picked up a case, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna find someone I go with. Yeah. Well, did you freeze? I think Tracy froze. Oh, no. Internet, or she's, like, really good at a staring contest. Because she's not moving at all. Yeah, I don't know. My PTSD buddy chats aren't working too good today with Tracy. <laughs> all right, let me try. What can I do here? Do, do. Oh, okay. We lost Tracy. Let me see here. <laughs> I'm trying, Tracy. I'm trying to reinvite her. Mm -mm. There, I sent it again. I think I sent it again, Tracy. Yep, I did. Okay. Oh no, what happened there? There we go. I don't know, Tracy. I, <laughs> I sent you the invite. I can't resend it because it just says sent. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you're being added again, Tracy. Here, here she comes. Ladies and gentlemen. For the third time tonight, I give you Tracy. Maybe. I swear to you, she's coming. Oh, yeah. Thank you. She made it. I heard the invite. It was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I just. <laughs> I like to make an entrance, Tracy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it was just so funny. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, yeah, yeah. My director. My director. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Finally. Yo. I can't yeah. even. Uh, yeah, but like, I had a dog. I would take my dog for walks. I like exercise. Exercise is amazing. My body's suffering because I can't find a gym, so. Whatever. It's fucking crazy. Anyway, um, I got knocked off because you were asking you were asking me before if I saw John a lot, and the answer was no, but he was trying to call me. So I didn't tell him I was doing, like, a live, but I have to call him back. But, right. um, like, he called me, and then I got knocked off. Uh, yeah, I got to meet my wife. Lately. Five minutes at Walmart. Ugh. At Walmart, I would. Walmart. That's a that's a great date. I can handle. Wal I'm not. A, I don't like going at stores. Period. Right. I can do it. Yeah. Walmart not so bad, but Costco, man, f you. I no. <laughs> I don't absolutely go, not. Man, like people. People get angry. They turn into someone different at Costco. Like, if you stop and see, like, I don't know. Like, in my, I'm in Newfoundland. There's, like, one Costco. So, it's always busy, right? And I, oh. Yeah. I the parking lot for Costco, even here, I is, like, hard. Bahama Jamaican joint to go into Costco. Yes. Especially for Costco, though, I, I do like the Costco poutine. That's pretty cool. Their food there's like dirty. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, I know. So, if it wasn't always so packed, so full of people, I would handle it. It's to it's just too many. Too many. <laughs> too many people. Too many. 
Yeah. And especially in the, in like, it's the, for me, it's the, in Newfoundland, I find it's the best place to go for fruit and vegetables. And you go there, and there's just so many people trying to get what's there. It's like, oh my god, it's like Black Friday all, all the, the time. same thing every time. Because <laughs> yeah. me personally, when I lived like in Edmonton, Alberta. I remember going out to lunch and I would drive to like a store or something and pull into the parking lot and see too many people, too many vehicles in the parking lot and go, well, I ain't fucking going in there. Yeah, me too. I've driven into places, excuse me, and like, I can't go in, there's just too many people. Yeah. Pull up to like a coffee shop and there's like a big long line out. No, I don't want the coffee. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't want the coffee. <laughs> yeah. I can make I can make coffee better at home. Shit. I'll just go home. Fuck just, this. Yeah. <laughs> and so lots of people try to go shopping really early, really. Yeah, exactly. I don't go shopping. Period. So no. I have an issue. Except my one friend that I made, like in Queens, like she works up the block right at a Rainbow. She helps me pick out outfits. Uh, Kira. So cool. Kev, nope, fuck. I'm not making fun <laughs> yeah, of exactly. I'm not making fun of people, but you go have you ever gone to like one of those twenty four hour grocery stores? Oh, and like God, go yes. there go and there. And they have like, like one door open. Three or four o'clock in the morning when people don't give a fuck, you know? Yeah. They park right? like assholes. Mm -hmm. No, but you see some fucked up people too, right? I'm not making fun oh, of people, yeah. but some <laughs> some wicked people wearing some Fucked up things, you know. They just weird, you know. The, I'd be one of those weird people. Let me tell one you. Of these, watching info commercials. I would. All of a sudden, they go, "I need some pink popcorn," and they gotta go, and they're, they're gone in their Scooby Doo fucking um, pants <laughs> and a muscle shirt with a muscle shirt, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm well, going, that's I'm what going, guys do. Girls just go in pajamas all the time, you know, yeah, so they look normal. Yeah. Well, girls can pull it off better there. If you walk in into the store wearing pajama pants, Tracy, people are like, woo. But if I walked in there wearing pajama pants, people are going, what the fuck is this? It's this just is just ruining my appetite. <laughs> right? Total difference. Oh, my God. I was yeah, exactly, Kim. Yes, Kim. I will go in wearing pajamas. I don't give a fuck. I used, used to be a bouncer. Oh, yeah, God. I was a bouncer for a while. And I remember, because this happened to me before too, but if a girl or a guy, or for them to say, if a girl walks into a boy's bedroom by mistake, she's treated a lot better than if a guy <laughs> accidentally walks into a girl's bathroom, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm just reading the comments. My brother went to the. Girl accidentally walks into a boy's bathroom. She's probably gonna get offered a free drink. Hey, how's it going? Can I get you a drink? Not in here. But... Yeah, I walked into the wrong bathroom on accident, but I, I don't have that issue. So yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so much fun. Uh, when are you leaving to like go for your wife? I'm uh, like another forty minutes. I'm sorry, I just listened to my kid. My kid's like, I'm excited for this staircase. You just want to come He's playing the fucking video games. Are they playing the video <laughs> games? He's playing Xbox. Two of them are. <laughs> they yell at people online, and they and well, they get in arguments and stuff. And, anyway, that's not too good. I listen for swear words. I know, huh? but they come so close. Freak. I know. Freak. This freak. Freak. That. Like, oh, freak. This yeah, we say freak like, or freaking, freaking like whatever you want like to call it, but that's pretty close. It counts. Uh -huh. Care. <laughs> Yeah, right? <coughs> yeah. But what are you doing for something. the rest of today? We see, when I grew up, I grew up where there was basketball on the basketball side, and my dad would beat me in basketball or beat me in sports and stuff. But now that I got kids, everything is a video game. And my kids are now beating my ass in video games. So the it's tables have turned. But I just moved to this house, and I got this big... I got a nice big paved driveway, so I'm getting a basketball net, and we're going out there to play because I feel bring that cheated. back, bring it back, I feel yo. Cheated. Like, I feel yeah, cheated. you need to like have a in pool and day, swim. Like, we had to beat my dad in sports, which was hard, and now I, I spent my childhood losing to my dad in sports until one fateful day when I, I to I your kids. Eat. 
Now I'm cheated. Now I'm a dad. I'm losing all the time in this damn Black Ops and Call of Duty and yeah. yeah. Screw it. Yeah. Jesus, Dad, I thought you were a soldier. You're not very good at Call of Duty. Shut up. It's not the same thing. <laughs> oh my God, yo! Like I would not take that. That's not appropriate. <laughs> oh, I don't. Yeah, uh, they're just... man. Coffee's too. I'm addicted to coffee. Like, I just think that like playing sports with your kids is better than them playing video games, and I don't even have kids, which I'm kind of yeah. giving a lot of shit for. And like, like you're 25, why don't you have a kid? A lot of yeah. people just have kids and are not married here in the U.S., and it's fucking just totally acceptable. But like, they don't just. It's not the same if you want to do things the right way. Yep, yeah, I agree. So yeah. I go to work and a lot of these girls have kids and I just don't. And I get a little bit differently for it. My kids live to swim. That's all they want to yeah, do. Yeah, swimming is, is great. So they have my, my youngest is in swimming three times a week and my oldest, he's all for yeah. He, go, he goes on every Sunday for like six to eight hours finishing out this course, right? So it's cool. I also do Taekwondo. <laughs> I like Taekwondo, yeah. Yeah. My wife does Taekwondo, too. Jen, old good. school Pokemon was way better. <laughs> old school Pokemon on the Game Boy Color. But... I don't know, I'm sorry. There's something, hot about having... There's something hot about having my wife that's in Taekwondo and probably could kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my weed just came out of my bowl. Oh my god, your weed is really working because you're having trouble with your internet, you're having trouble with the phone. No, no, no. I told you guys that John like, called me. Man, who's your supplier? Yeah, it's from you Colorado. Burn wellness in your supply. <laughs> from Colorado. Ooh, nice. nice. Colorado. Uh, nice. Yeah, this is my CBD. But it's, uh, what time is it? Father, I don't I know. About time, yeah. You get your Can somebody comment on not Tyrell. Tyrell? <laughs> um, I don't. Oh, know. Shatter. I don't know. I think Shatter would almost ruin marijuana for me. Oh, no, no, no. Shatter is the way. I've heard. Like, Shatter's yeah. all. Everyone tells thing. me how good it is. That's why I'm like. Yes, and Mario. I don't want Shatter being the only thing I uh, want. Oh, no, Jennifer. No, that's I... the only thing. My wife I love does... Shatter. Jennifer talks about Pokemon there. My wife does Pokemon Go. I used to do the Mario I Kart. Don't do Pokemon Go. I like old school Mario and I like old school Yoshi and I like old school Peach and old school Hey, my Aunt Sunshine. Sadie. Hey, Aunt Sadie. Hi, Sadie. I don't know you, but hey. Yeah, that's my aunt. Oh. Yay. Oh, my God. What is, what is Tracy doing now, I wonder? I'm trying to pack a Tracy, pool. Tracy, you have your own live TV show and just, people can just log in and watch. Yo, like, my, I should have a camera following me around. I'd be so famous. All right, I'm trying to get all the weed out of my fucking pants that I've been what? saving the scraps of. What? Did you see what I'm doing in June? What are you doing in June? I live in a province in Canada called Newfoundland, and in June, I'm taking two weeks with a few uh, with a few people, actually a team, and we're driving across the whole province, stopping into fire halls, nursing. I don't have my fuck. I would come. I don't have my passport. You what? I don't have my passport. Passport? No, no. You. Everything that we're go uh, doing in places we're going, we're going to stream it online so people can watch online. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. We're going Stop into uh, 14 different towns and cities and interview okay. as many people as you can. Uh -huh. And uh, do some stunts and do some fun stuff. I don't even care. Like, people are going to judge me anyway. No good shit. Um, I'm just Man, this, some this empire. Is this, this is called the Mighty a Vaporizer. It works really good, but it's very expensive. 
So this if you want to spend the money, I recommend it. But I love people are watching if, if you want this to find a good vaporizer, right now is the PAX 3. It's called CBD Empire oil. Wellness CBD. It's not it's not oil. It's CBD like powder. It's crystals yep. and like it's CBD is from Empire Wellness. So if you guys want to try it out, I went to a, um, I went to a trauma event. It's sour lemon haze. It's so good. Hey. I went to it's a at EmpireWellness.com, uh, sorry. Uh, it's at EmpireWellness. The psychiatrist there who also talked about was that cannabis was no good and cannabis gets you high and everything. You know? And a lot of people don't, don't realize that CBD doesn't get you high at all. They call it a body high. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you won't get high from CBD. <coughs> and then I say, whoever told you that is a moron. Yeah. Lots of people, lots of people use just CBD oil and don't get no buzz out whatsoever. It's a painkiller. Yay, Kim! Kim's smoking with us. Where I think there's quite a few. <laughs> yeah, sour lemon haze. It's awesome, Jen. Like EmpireWellness.com. Oh my god, they have they have like thirty flavors. It's crazy. Um, really? Yeah. So awesome. Um, yeah, yo, like I don't know. I have a lot of things to do. I have to. Find an outfit for like my friends, you know. Well, what do you find? And... What do you, What do you find I good about the marijuana? Cool. Is it helping you sleep? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it helps me sleep all the time. But you know, just I'm not. I can't like live without marijuana. CBD helps me calm, like. All right, how do I put this? I thought it was the other way, but, like, honestly, THC helps me with my pain, and CBD helps me with my, I think they work together, and CBD helps me with my, um, like, anxiety and stress, so. Sure, yeah. That's what it does for me. They yeah. Just, they work together, and I thought it was the other way around, and I think there are components of each other's, like, I don't know, making up of, and, like, I just. I think they work together. Like, I think also CBD would help me with my physical pain. And THC would help me feel, like, relaxed. So it's, like, you know, both ways. It's also good to look at the strains, too, and see when you've got a sativa or an indica that you're smoking. What? It's also good to look at the strains of the weed you're smoking to see if you're smoking yeah. an indica or a sativa. I only smoke indicas, um... Yeah, I just get it from my, my friend. She's like... I like a sativa in the daytime. More pepper. No, I can't. I can't do it. I'll have an anxiety attack. Can you tell me where to get the CBD powder? I missed it. Yeah, I'll put it in the comments. It's from empirewellness.com. I'll, I'll just put the website in the comments. It's yeah. really good CBD. Yeah. It's, uh, Jen, I'll put it in there. Well, thank you. Yeah, me too, Kim. Me too, Kim. Both can't ways for me. And I need to see a picture of your puppy, by the way. I like puppy pictures. I saw Kira's this morning. Yeah. I love. Yeah, no problem, Jen. I'll do it as soon as we're off. Um, but yeah, I think they both work together, and that's why I get them prescribed together, and I can get that from the dispensary. And, you know, I just haven't had the money recently. My car insurance went up like $800, so I'm really kind of like, no, um, but we'll see. You know, I could always get the pills, but like, this is just cheaper. The flower is cheaper. Pills are eighty dollars a bottle. Like, <laughs> I don't find the oil and pills work for me. The the pills digest to my system. Like, they work awesome, but you know, I, my favorite thing to do is to make cookies, my own cookies. I like that too. Mail me some. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I need, to come, I need to come visit New York. I've been wanting to come down there for a long time. Well, as long as you have your passport, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a passport, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't. No. Marina says, but, Indica all the way. Yeah, of course. I'm on pills. Yes, Tyra, they work awesome. I have, like, four left, and I'm crying about it. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Lots what of do you people have to do? and stuff like that use it, right? Because it helps with what? physical 
and mental physical things. and mental. Yeah, dude, it's just it's incredible. So and it's just fucking plant. That's all it is. It's I know. a fucking plant. It and grows it just, out like seventy five percent of the planet that you don't need to spray it with shit or it's anything. Hemp. It's hemp. Like grow nobody. Like that, yeah. right? And if you so happen to set it on fire, then there are some effects. Oh right? my god, yes. That's it. Yes. What, Jamie what's needs to go to New York. Let's talk I know. about sex marijuana. You could get hungry. Do you want to talk to our governor? Look, right? look, you no commented. Day. Evo commented, you should come here, Jamie, to New York. Love, so you come, should come talk to our governor. I love to go anywhere. Oh, my God. Eero says one day she's go, when she makes it big, and I believe her, she's going um, to be big. Yes. She's going to talk, to talk to everybody. Wait, but, but it's yeah, true. No. It's, 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 it's not a chemical. It's just a flower. It, you know, you can it's light a it flower. up fire, put it in... You can put it in. It's actually just pretty too. I looked at Meverly for, and you look at pills, and you get the purple ones and everything. Some no, they don't get purple. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Now, if I showed up at my wife and with with roses or a marijuana plant, which would she like more? <laughs> the marijuana plant. I think so. No, well, I was like a really plant. cool machine on Facebook. Wait, my ears and, and are gone. It looks like this little phone booth, and what it is, you put a seed in there and close the door, and the light comes out. Yes, you will. Water and and Ew, I'm sorry. One plant, one full marijuana plant. Wick, <laughs> I would love to have it. Yeah, you're gonna come to New York. Look at oh. the comments. Right, comments. So many. Oh my god. When I do the tour around Newfoundland, I'm gonna need a camera person. Wait, my phone's gonna die. What time is it? Oh my god, my phone's gonna die. I know that's so Oh my god, no, we're so always. Oh. oh my god. Okay, yeah, my phone's okay. gonna oh, die, so oh, it, oh, it gave me the low power the thing. Before <laughs> shut up. Oh my god. Yeah, my phone's gonna die. I just wanted to tell you all in case. In California, yes. Bring me flowers, but I had to comment the, the the CBD website. Oh shit! Oh my god, here we go again! Oh no! Yo, oh. yo, yo! My phone's gonna oh. die. That's why. He's oh. so ridiculous. Do you see this <laughs> guy? Oh, oh, no. oh my god, oh. my phone's gonna die. Stop. Can I say a prayer for phone? No. Oh my god, Jamie, stop. I'm feeling very close to you right now, Tracy. What? I'm feeling really close to you right now, Tracy. Oh, yeah? Are yeah. you? Because you're being like, a jerk. Like inches. <laughs> oh, well, I'm trying to type the website before my phone dies. Duh. I don't know. Okay, well, maybe we should say goodbye to everybody. Cause... No, no, wait. Hold oh. on. I'm typing the website. Yeah, Jennifer says, plug it in, plug it in. Oh, my God. Yeah, I would if I could. Okay, I'm on this. Fuck. I don't know if everyone else is so entertaining, but I think it's hilarious watching Tracy go. Is everyone... This is hilarious. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad my oh, face is so funny you. to you guys. You started to remind me of Grover on Sesame Street. Near? Fur. Near? You have some yeah. serious issues. I think you need some help, Jamie. I, I, I do. I spent a lot of time alone. I had a lot of sugar today, so, you know. Oh, you are probably in that coffee that you made. Exactly. Exactly. I have one spoon of sugar in every cup. All right. Sorry, I'm not that close. So I don't have to disturb you. Disturb okay, me? Okay, everybody's left. You're like, are you, I'm feeling a little close to you, Tracy. <laughs> I just dropped my phone on my face, Jen. <laughs> I think we all do, Tracy. Thank you, but it's, it was not bad, right? No. What are you drinking? Water. What no. are you drinking? Okay. What? You know, <clears throat> nothing now because the coffee's getting cold. I didn't finish it. I don't like it when it's I cold. I thought you weren't like more cups of coffee. No, no. Oh, it's kind of cold. Sorry. I'm not going to even go over to the microwave and warm it up. 
The sun's coming out here. I have to go to the grocery store. No, yeah, like, are, are you on, like, a night shift or anything? When is work again for you? No, work is, like, during the week, but I need to find a, an outfit for the funeral, and then um, I have to go to the food store really quick, and I have, it works work to do, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just. I have to find an outfit to go tomorrow. I'm not really fashionable. Half my stuff is at my mom's. Most of my room is here, but like a, a Goodwill bag is there. I yeah. have the other one. But I don't know. It's cold out here. You do a lot of yarn. Do... You do a lot of yarn. I, I said, you do a lot of yarn in there. Um, how's your sleep been, doing, so... been going? No, no, I'm just asking now. I, I, I slept for like 15 hours yesterday. I woke up at like 10 this morning. I went to bed at like 5.36 yeah. last night. Yeah. I woke up, took a shower, got like kind of normal, and now I have some stuff that I have to do. Yeah, I want yeah, coffee too, yeah. but there's a dunk in my block. I have to walk to a gen. What? Oh. oh, did she freeze again? Uh, oh, I had to go. You you froze no, there. I'm back. With the, with the, I know, but I had to go. Through. I had to go because. Okay, okay, we'll talk. No, John's calling me, and I have to go. My phone's apparently gonna die. Yes. So, yeah. No yeah, problem. But we should do another buddy chat too and see if we can yeah. add some oh. people. We will. Yes, Kim. All right, yo. We'll talk to John. I'll talk to you soon. Right. Yeah, I'll talk to John. Love him. All right. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Okay, we have a great day. Everyone, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later. Yeah. How do we end it? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There she is. She's gone. <laughs> oh. Tracy's got a lot going on, man, but that was a lot of fun talking to her. If you want to have a PTSD buddy chat like Tracy did with me, send me a private message and we'll have a chat. I've been having a lot of fun talking and getting to know uh, a lot of the members and PTSD buddies, so I want to get to know you too. All right? So send me a private message if, if you feel up to having a chat with me. And you can find this video now on YouTube. All right? Have a good day, everybody.